There's a veggie food. He's come. Ah, oh, yes. Perfecto. Hola. Como esta? Bien. As soon as we arrived in the East Lemons, the veggie boat showed up, and then followed right behind him was a kuna with a whole bunch of lobsters and his ulu. Man, it's so fortunate that the veggie guy just came. We're headed out to the Hollandaise Cays, which are like 15 miles off the coast of Panama, and the, um, the veggie boat doesn't always come there. But this is great. We got stocked up and we washed it with bleach water and I'm gonna have myself a salad. Tate and I just spent our first night at Anchor and it was really nice. There's lots of breeze coming through the front of the boat and everything. But today we're headed to the swimming pool. It's the farthest of the San Blas Island group. Last year between September and December, Tate and I spent like four months in the swimming pool and it was so much fun. We, He is a really good spearfisher, which is really exciting and um, there's lots of beautiful reef and it's really removed. Right now it's the slow season because it's um there's a lot of rain and maybe a little bit more bugs. So there's not a lot of people there. So we're really excited to get going. This is why you don't trust the charts here in San Blas. You have to get the Bajas charts. Our Garmin plotter took us right over this island. swimming pool you can maybe see boats I don't know we're kind of far away still I have to stand out on the deck to um, to look at for reef The swimming pool is really shallow um, pretty much everywhere and then it drops off really deep which is beautiful with the islands but um, we're only anchored in nine and a half feet and we put out how much chain did we put out Tate 50 feet 50 feet for 10 feet because it's five to one slope yeah and that's how you anchor mostly seven to one if it's bad conditions to anchor here in the Hollandaise Caves, you have to pay the Kuna a little bit of money, like an anchoring fee. And here it's um, $10, and they just came by our boat in a little dugout, and we're just going to pay it. It's not a problem. They own the islands here, and we're really happy to be able to use them. Gracias. Yeah, it's uh, the un dollar para, yeah. Then he's putting up our American flag, goes off the stern. Hola! Hola! <laughs> Buenas tardes!
while we're here though, we're probably going to be here for a couple of months, hopefully, and we're going to um, take the dinghy, put it in the water, and put our new outboard on it. And that is really exciting because we have a new outboard. <gasps> about to go out in the dinghy for the first time and go back to the places that we used to go fishing. He's taking the dinghy right now and, and breaking in the new motor and I'm gonna break out all of our old snorkeling gear. We have lots of stuff. Fish, the dog snapper that he shot today. We're doing something a little bit um, more special than normal. I uh, chopped up some onions and green peppers and I'm sauteing those in a pan with some olive oil. And then I'm gonna take the fish fillets and I drizzled olive oil over them, salt, pepper, garlic, and then put a little bit of lemon juice when I put them in the pan. And I cook some rice and wine and we'll have ourselves our first fish dinner. It only took about mm, 20 minutes from prep to finished cooking and you definitely don't want to cook fish a very long time. It should be flaky, it obviously fell apart, but it doesn't take long to cook at all. If you liked it, thumbs up and subscribe. <laughs>